But there's one thing about it that worries me, and that is the tendency, sometimes explicitly, more often implicitly, to say all these claims of childhood sexual abuse are, uh, are silly and pumped up by unethical therapists and uh, all of that. Well, in yesterday's paper, a survey of 13 states reports that one-sixth of all the rape victims reported to police are under the age of 12. And this is a category of rape that is preferentially under-reported to police for obvious reasons. Of these girls, one-fifth were raped by their fathers. Now that's a lot of betrayal. That's a lot of people. And we have to bear that in mind when we approach people who say they have an eating disorder and their psychiatrist convinced them that they were abused in childhood. It does not follow that they're wrong because the logic seems strained. A lot of people have been sexually abused by parents or those who served in loco parentis. People are not stupid. They believe things for reasons. Let me give another example. In the 19th century, it was uh, mediums. You'd go there and they would uh, put you in touch with dead relatives. Uh, these days, it's a little different. It's called channeling. But the basic and spiritualism was, I guess, back in the 19th century, part of the medium business. What this is basically about is attempting to deal with human fear of dying. And I don't know about you guys, I find the idea of dying unpleasant. <laughs> I would just as soon not die. I recognize I have to. In fact, twice in my life I came very close to doing so. I did not have a near-death experience. Sorry to say. Um, but I can understand anxiety about dying. About um, 12 to 14 years ago, both my parents died. We had a very good relationship. I was very close to them. Uh, I still miss them terribly. And uh, I wouldn't ask much. I would sort of like you know, five minutes a year tell them how the kids and the grandchildren are doing and how Annie and me are doing. And I know it sounds stupid, but I'd like to ask them, you know, is everything all right with you? Uh, just, just a little, a little contact. For that reason, I do not guffaw at uh, women who go to their husband's tombstones and give them a chat every now and then. I can understand that. That's not hard to understand. And if we have difficulties on the ontological status of who it is they're talking to, that's all right. That's not what this is about. This is about humans being human. 